Hi everyone, it's me, Hello Ia. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm really excited because we are gonna talk about spring eyeshadow palettes, or more like eyeshadow palettes that make me think of spring. I like to say that you can wear any style of makeup any time of year, but I also really love watching these types of videos, so I thought I would make one. And yeah, I'm just excited to show you 15 of my favorite palettes that make me think of spring. It was really hard for me to narrow this down to only 15. When I first pulled out my palettes, I had like 25 and I was like, okay girl, that's too many. Let's rein it in. So I'm down to 15 and yeah, let's jump into it. Ooh, before I get going, don't forget to subscribe. And if you wanna see my makeup looks every day, you can follow me on Instagram as well. Same handle, Hello Ia. I post a lot over there, trying to bring the YouTube channel back, but it takes a lot of time. I post very consistently on Instagram, if you care. If not, that's cool too. So without any specific order or ranking, we're just gonna go through them. I have them in a pile here. Let's look at some of my favorite spring eyeshadow palettes. First up, I have the Pastel Pup palette from Menagerie Cosmetics. I'll say that five times fast. This is a really gorgeous palette. It's got beautiful pastels. This shimmer shade here is really pretty. And I like that it gives you a white and a black shade so you can lighten or deepen up each shade to your heart's content. This is one of my favorite spring palettes. I use it every year in the spring and summertime. Just something about this time of year in this palette calls to me. Love Menagerie and I love this palette specifically. Next up, I have the Don't Be Jelly palette from Unearthly Cosmetics. This palette I got pretty recently and I just, I really love the different looks you can do here. These greens and these blues with this purple are what really make me think of spring. This shimmer formula is amazing. Highly, highly recommend this palette. And if you have it in your collection, you should definitely dig it out this spring. Oh, hi, Kazoo. I don't know if they can see you or not, but hi, baby. Moving right along, I wanna talk about the Fete de Provence palette from Nomad Cosmetics. This was their palette based on France. I love this color story. I feel like some people either love it or hate it. These yellows are so yummy and I love how you can play with like the peachy coral pinky colors or with the, the lavenders and this gray row. Oof, unexpected twist in a springtime themed palette and I love the little bumblebee. So cute. I really love this palette and the shimmers in here are very sparkly and pretty. Next up is an oldie but a goodie. I don't believe they make these anymore, but this is part of the Sweet Shop collection from BH Cosmetics. It's the Pistachio palette. And my goodness, y'all, you know how I feel about greens. You know how I feel about greens. And this palette is just, it's one of my favorite green palettes. And just the way you have like this really light 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 yellowish green down to this really deep one Ugh, and the shimmers to match it's just so fun so easy to create looks with and like i said you can use these any time of year but something about this one in particular just makes me think spring next up i have the nude prism palette from lunar beauty this is one of the few neutral palettes in my collection that i truly love and enjoy and I think what I love about this palette is the range in the tones. So it goes from like these really pretty light, pinky, almost yellowy colors down to these really deep and sultry colors and the shimmers. Lunar Beauty has always had really pretty shimmers, but these ones, oh, they just really pop. And I love playing with this. If I'm going to go for a nude color story this time of year, this is the palette I'm reaching for. Next up, I have the Brittany Huffman palette from Bella Beauté Bar. Look at this cover. It's just so happy and trippy. 
This palette was a collaboration between Bella Butte Bar and Brittany Hoffman. And this was actually my introduction to Bella Butte Bar. And these shades, oh, they're so bright, they're so fun. And these shimmers, this pink shimmer, this orange one, really, oh, I almost dropped my palette. Oh, no, 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 no. I actually just popped this shade out by accident. You can see it's like a little cracked. I'm gonna have to repress that later. But what I love about this palette is how bright and fun the, the matte color story is. And these shimmers are insane. Bella Butte Bar has one of the best shimmer formulas out right now. And every palette they come out with, it just keeps getting better. This palette, I don't believe is available any longer, but if you were thinking about trying this brand, highly recommend. Next up is actually the palette I'm wearing today. This is the Spring Dragon palette from Odin's Eye in collaboration with Judy. This palette is so cute. Like, hello, hello. Are you guys noticing a theme yet? Is it pastel? Is it kind of rainbowy? Right? Colors with beautiful shimmers. That is what I'm drawn to, especially this time of year. Next up, I have a few ColourPop palettes. First, we have the In a Trance. This whole collection is like very springy to me, but the In a Trance palette is just so pretty. I know I'm like in the minority here, but I love the pressed glitters. So like I've almost hit pan on this love it these pinks these purples something about this just makes me want to go outside and roll in the grass spring from that same collection we have the aura and out palette again look at these colors the, these greens just seriously make me think of like budding flowers sprouting grass i love it yeah, this palette is an oldie, but a goodie, this whole collection. And lastly, from ColourPop, this might be kind of cheating, but I have all four of the quads from the Animal Crossing collection. And to me, these just scream spring. So you have your Five Star Island, your Nook Ink. Oh, I love these greens. La Belle of the Ball, so pretty. Then of course, what a hoot. And not only are these palettes adorable on their own, they play really well together, which is why I'm counting them as one because I very rarely only use one. Typically when I play with this collection, I'm combining all four and the shimmers this is some of ColourPop's best shimmer, if you ask me. I love these shimmers. Next up is the Flower Punk palette from Kaleidos. This palette is stunning. Something about this palette is just like, it could go fall. You've got like these grungy greens, but then you've got like these mints, these pinks, and these shimmers, y'all. Kaleidos is not playing. These are beautiful, and I use this palette consistently throughout the year. I did actually one of my favorite looks uh, of the fall was with this palette. Next up, we have the Pastel Palette from Natasha Denona. I feel like, again, with this one, I'm kind of in the minority. Uh, I feel like a lot of people do not like this palette, but I love it. And like, you can tell like this palette has been loved. There are dips on a lot of those shades. And I don't know why this palette just really inspires me to get creative with color combinations, color placement. This, this palette like unlocked something in me creatively when it came out and I don't know, I just really love it. And I think the quality is great and the colors are great. I know some people were like, there's no darkening, deepening tone, but it's the pastel palette. So I don't know, I don't know what they were expecting. 
Next up, I have the Flower Moon Palette from Ensley Rain Cosmetics. Use code HelloEA for 10% off your order from Ensley Rain Cosmetics. This palette, oof, it's part of their Moon Collection. And my goodness, I don't know if I'm showing the shifts very well. Like, I don't know if you can see how in the mirror it looks one way and in the pan it looks another. A lot of these are duo or multi-chrome. They're very special shades. These shimmers, Ensley Rain Cosmetics might be my favorite indie brand. Hard to say, hard to say. Odin's Eye is up there for me as well. But oof, these colors, the purples, the greens. I mean, really, that's all I need. I need purple and green and I can be happy. But don't sleep on like the peachy colors and the oranges either. Those, oof, so stunning, so amazing. Every time I use that palette, I just, I fall in love all over again. I have another Ensley Rain palette here as well. This is their latest release. It's the Groovy Garden. Uh, I do have a video making a look with this palette. And again, don't forget to use code HelloEA if you wanna get something from them. This is kind of a more muted spring palette. This has more mattes than shimmers, which is definitely a change of pace for Ensley Rain. I am not mad at it though. And I actually really love the look I created with this. And I just cannot wait to play with it again. I feel like this is Harvest Moon's like springtime sister. I feel like they would play really well together. So if you have them both, definitely think about playing with them together. Then last but not least of palettes that make me think of spring, I have the Serenity palette from Cosmic Brushes. I discovered this brand in the last year or year and a half. I'm not exactly sure. and. My goodness, am I obsessed. This color story is so fun. I really love this pop of like sherbet orange. It's so weird and I actually use it more than I thought I would. And then like this sky or almost like pool blue just really adds some brightness. I love the different greens and obviously there's some beautiful purples. So you know I'm all in. And like this green right here, oof. You know me in the greens. I can't help myself, I really can't. The shimmer formula from Cosmic Brushes is really nice too. I have to say that like every look I've ever done with a Cosmic Brushes palette has been superb. And yeah, that wraps up my 15 asterisk because I kind of cheated with my Animal Crossing collab, but my 15 palettes that make me think of spring. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. What are your favorite spring palettes? Do you tend to gravitate to like greens and purples and soft pastels like me, or do you have another color story that makes you think of spring? I'd love to hear. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And again, if you want to follow me over on IG, it's Hello Ia. I hang out there all the time. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. And until then, this is Hello Ia saying, see ya.